Well, folks, here we are. What date of May is it? The 6th or 5th? 6th. 6th of May. Lambing is finished for another year. This year, Carla's been helping me quite a lot. In fact, an awful lot. She says she never got that close to a sheep before. In fact, you're nearly inside one. I've never seen so many sheep's asses in my life. <laughs> They're all different, though. They all look the same to me. <laughs> like Date City for you, wasn't it? Wasn't it just? <laughs> got my favourites, Mary and Barbara. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so we lit the fire. We're going to have a little chat about the lambing and a few other bits and pieces. Just let you know where we're up to. I usually do a snack, a shack chat once a year or twice a year, but I've done for, for a while. We've been a bit busy, haven't we, go? Aye. One way and another. It's my dog. Yeah, I've lost my dog to her. <laughs> you got to hear that. Call me a her. So, we had eight, um, 76 sheep lambed, two haven lambed, we've got 130 lambs, and we've had some ewe lambs that have lambed this year, which is unusual for me because bad shepherding. That's all I can say. We had five sets of triplets. Three are still on their sheep. Three sets of triplets have been reared. We lost 12 lambs altogether, which is more than I ever lost before. But one day it rained all day and the next day it snowed up here. And um, I lost nearly all of them in those two days. There was nothing I could do. It was horrendous. One of those days you think, why do I do it? Why do you do it? Well, uh, I love it. Must do, mustn't it? Must do. So behind me here is the half the lamb sheep. These are the late lambers. The other half are in another field further away. And um, I usually move them from field to field quite often. They have a two acre paddock, they stay in for a few days, they move to another paddock. They always do better that way, fresh grass. So tell me your overall impression of lambing sheep then, was it what you expected, do you have no expectations? I didn't have any expectations whatsoever, I had no idea, just went in head first. Especially with the lamb that we've born at the side of the road. The first one? Didn't know what to expect at all there. Uh, the first one we lambed, or had lamb, had no legs coming out, just its head. And uh, that's not going to work, so we got it back into the shed or try to, to uh, help with lambing. But as she's wandering mm. along the lo road, the lamb fell out, didn't it? Yeah, but uh, something I have learned is uh, we, we've cut short our journeys on intuition. Yeah. You know, we, we've always thought, no, we'll, we'll go home and something's not right, don't, not feeling it. And then every time we've made that decision, we had to be here to do something. Yeah, yeah, that's true, mm. actually. Yeah, it was never let us down, did it? No. My gullible head, when we'd, we'd gone off to make the bed for the new lamb, come back up and I thought, my God, they move quickly. Mm. I thought it had got up and walked into the middle of the road, but no, it was another lamb, born. <laughs> then further along the road, she had another lamb. Yeah. So that was our first triplet. But we only really helped one sheep to lamb, which couldn't lamb, and it had a dead lamb, and she's got... We fostered one of the triplets onto her and she's in in the uh, polytunnel at the moment so we'll show her how she's trained me to feed her cake so she feeds the lamb. I find the, this really funny. It's yeah. not the other way around, it doesn't work like that. You get trained by the sheep. Mm. And anybody who thinks sheep is stupid needs to be uh, rethink that theory. That, that little lamb is, uh, well, I'm not supposed to name them, but it's Jessie who was in my house. She immediately improved overnight. She obviously likes a bit of house life. She's humanised. Yeah, so she was really good. So because she's got a name, she's now part of the flock. Or yeah. will be. So this is Jess, or Jessie. A little triplet that uh, his mum didn't have enough food for and the mother behind is the one who lost her lamb. So put the two together. She has been a little difficult to take with her, but Seems to be happy with her now. Hey Jess. 
So a few days in what we call an adopter pen and she um, decided she'd have the lamb as her own. So I'm just giving some extra food because she's a bit Jess is now eating cake with her mum at that stage in her life. A little bit too big for her, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to cut down the sheep next year to 70. We've kind of got most of the sheep now. I have had pears, and well, nearly all pears anyway. And that's the best way forward for me is to keep less sheep but to produce the same amount of lambs. And I'll wear my own replacements rather than buy them in because they get used to the land and the diseases on the land suits them. Mm, talking of getting used to, it took two weekends for the sheep to no notice my voice. Yeah. To get used to me and they were responding to me, weren't they? They were. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ray goes, come on girls, come on girls. But I don't say that because, you know, I'm not a man. So I no, say, come on, a, sheepies. She's not a man, I can tell I'm you. not a man. <laughs> so I go, come on, sheepies. Because, you know, sheepies. So she's going to show you now just how it works, how we don't need a dog. Yeah, they probably won't go anywhere they near me. Go, <laughs> go, go and get some See cape. See if I can do anything. Go and get some cake and I'll talk on while you do it. Go and get some cake. It sounds like I'm it's... having a treat, but I'm not really, <laughs> am I? <laughs> it's in the back of the uh, Honda. No. Wait. No! Penny, in. Roxy, come here! Penny! Come here. We've got two dogs who don't bother with the sheep, but they bother with Carla. So, hey, sheepies! Uh, we don't have dogs working come on, sheep. Sheepies. We have a, like a buggy. And uh, Carla will now uh, show you what happens when you feed sheep cake. For a month before the lamb, they get oh. half a pound of cake. No! And what I always oh. find the fact is that. <laughs> I need a bucket. <laughs> they, um, they milk better, they land better, the land's in better condition. So it's always worth doing. And they get used to your voice, they really do. So we've got a couple of tubs for sale this year. We'll have some, uh, some shearlings for sale, possibly. The beauty of my sheep is that they don't need shearing. And even up here at a thousand feet, they survive quite happily. Come on then, come on sheepies. They get stuck in briars or wire, they get stuck in their back. Come on, be nice, come and say hello to me. They're better on their feet. Oh. Plus the fact, like, the wool is worthless. It's too kind. And what we normally do is the boys go for, um, to pay the life of the other sheep who keep the females for breeding. And then they, um, get sold on to other farmers, hopefully. Come on then, come on. Come on! And Carl has been an absolute joy to work with. She controls my frustrations very well. And they get used to you. How quickly they get used to you. They're inquisitive. These, these lambs here, the oldest is two weeks, the youngest is about three days. All had their tails uh, rubberized, so the tails come off. They're always more popular without any tails. I was talking about the shearing the sheep. It's a joke, really. It's such a fabulous commodity. Yeah, it's not worth anything. It's two pounds to shear a sheep, and you may get 50 pence for the fleece. So you'll see sometimes farmers don't even bother to um, collect the fleeces up. They just dump them somewhere. They take them off because the sheep get overheated in the summertime issues with them, they get stuck on the back and so forth. It's under the gate, is it? What? It's under the gate, is it? It's not that bloody end anyway. Hinge end. Did you enjoy that, darling? Yeah, they came eventually. They did come to you. It's, it's a bit cold, cold isn't it? Yeah. So it's not the best night up here tonight. It's bloody windy and it's quite cool but we thought we'd do this because we haven't done one for such a while. So tell me what do you feel about the sheep now then? Uh, well I don't eat lamb anymore. No I know you don't. Uh, not that I was a big fan of it anyway. Um, I don't know it's like 
They're my mates, aren't they? Yeah, they are your mates, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. They're all, all the sheep there, they've all got a little trait. Each one has his own little ways. And uh, they are characters, to be fair. I haven't seen number 62, which number 62 was the one I waited an hour and 45 minutes for it to plan. And oh, uh, in the Pelly Tunnel? Yeah, mm -hmm. I got it on video. We may add it. May not. It's... Uh, it's not the most pleasant scene, but you know, it was nice anyway. All the, the sheep came in and they stood around. Uh, the sheep that was lambing while she was birthing, if you like, and then they disappeared. And then they came back in once the lamb was born and came to say hello to the lamb and then disappeared again, which I found lovely. So we may post that and we may not, I don't know. Tell you what. <laughs> Poor thing. Actually, the lamb getting born. Is that his mouth? Or is it? Oh, I can't it, tell if it's a head or a foot or what. It is. It's his foot. Is it? Yeah, I can see it too. You see two feet tight. Nope, just one. Looks like a foot anyway. I think it's a foot. Here's the man of the hour. Typical man. Stays out the way while the lady's giving birth. Oh, I need a fart. Oh, look at the black one. You're doing well, girly. Hey. Hello, Lammy. Oh, he looks so cute. Hey, Sammy. Sammy and Lammy. Come on, it's nearly out. Girl, you're doing it. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done, Mummy.
Mummy number 65, 56, I can't remember. The animals are coming to say hello to the new one. Oh, sweet. And she's up. Or he, I don't really know yet. It's a good pick, good story, and um, it's not it's not a lot like Country File. To be fair, it's quite a lot more um, gory than Country File. We don't try to lamb the sheep if they can lamb themselves. We leave them to it. Some rush to do it and get the lambs out, but it's always best to let nature do what it needs yeah, to it do. Did take a while. It's such an amazing thing to watch, though. You know, just, she was like doing the, you know, making her bed and stuff, and I was saying, oh, you're all right, you know, I think she's doing it all without painkillers, wow, and then she'd stand up and then she'd lie down and pant and push and blow up on, thinking this take me right back. Puts her nose, puts her <laughs> nose in the air. Puts her nose in the air, mm. there was no one she was shouting at, and I was just, you know, encouraging her the whole way. <laughs> it was quite funny to see that happen. Mm. And it made, you see the lambs born, they're all wet and slimy, lying on their sides. You think it's dead, and then 20 minutes later, it's up, slicked, clean, dry, and suckling off its mother, and on its feet yeah. running. They're just amazing animals, yeah. really. Well, I mean, that's what I got in the video. I got it from dropping out, and then she was licked, and then she was up on her first feet, and then she was on her mother. Yeah. It was just amazing. Yeah. And I mean, for you too, you know, as a town girl, it is a world you'd never experience, isn't it? You'd have no idea what it was like, really. I mean, I had, um, it was four weeks, pretty intense, and uh, going, and I was pretty knackered at the end of it. Uh, apart from the two bad days, I enjoyed it, really. But it's always nice to have help, just to break things down. And he did pre-warn me, you know, oh, I might, might lose my rag. But it was me that lost mine more. I think he was more scared of me. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, folks. I am. <laughs> what else can we tell them about lambing? Um, Maybe from your perspective more than mine. Cause I don't know, really. Um, oh, well that's, that's another thing. Talk about going in head first. So we had the, at the side of the road thing which, you know, I didn't expect Sammy was really good with as well. But then he's like, go catch that lamb or go pick up that lamb or whatever and I have no gloves on or, and, you know, this is slimy, cold, whatever lamb. And I'm like, I've just got to pick it up. I've just got to do what I'm supposed to do <laughs> and not moan about it or not, not, you know, be a girl about it. It's like, just do it. All right, OK. And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> they are pretty slimy. I stopped chewing my nails as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I think it worked well as a team, though. I don't think we had I any. I it was good. And do you know what? Sammy was really good. Sammy just took to it. She's a natural, though. She, she really did. She, and she was a dab hander at catching a lamb. And so quick on her feet. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. absolutely. And you didn't have to tell her twice, you know, do whatever. And she knew ahead of what, why we were asking her to do yeah, what. She, she was very in, in, really intuitive, I think's the word. Yeah. If you're looking around where I'm sitting up here, you'll notice there's a lot of sh buckets on our deck and well, the buckets are full of manure and compost. I haven't got a garden up here, but I thought, I call these buckets. So I filled them up with flower seeds to see if they'll work. Sorry, who, who <coughs> sorry, what was that? Who filled them up with flower seeds? Uh, Carla, <laughs> to be fair, Carla sued them. I filled the buckets with manure, carted them up here, got the fertiliser from the um, Kirby garden to put them on, but she did sprinkle the seeds I on. Did. Yeah, I'm, I did. Sorry, I love, you, you did I about 7% of the job, didn't yeah. you? You did it's well. Okay. I'll take four gratifications yeah. Yeah. when they all flower and you go, what's what? And I'll go, well. And of course, if it doesn't work, you'll say, well, I told you so. Didn't water them. Anyway, we have now finished lambing. No, that's it for this year. There'll be no more now, so we're back to doing our videos again. The service we've got a whole stack more planned for this year if we can get on to it. We'll be out and about, so um, join us on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page, or send us a comment if there's somewhere you want us to go to or talk about or somewhere you're interested in. There is a massive list of things we, um, we, we don't get to do. the list doesn't get smaller, we think. No, We've got 60 videos out, or between us, we've done 60 videos of the Isle of Man. And um, it's only just scratching the surface, really. I've actually missed it, though. You know, I've missed not going out and about, to be fair. Yeah, I felt a bit sort of... Just doing the, the walk and then having the celebratory butterflies. Yeah. And and it's a little life I left behind for a few weeks. And there's always something we always find, don't we, when we yeah. do these as well. So uh, come with us and join us. And, You'll be very welcome to um, take part in comments. We're always prepared to listen and always interested in what you think. So I think that's enough of us meandering on with my inane chatter. Do you think so, Carla? What's this bus? Pardon? Uh, yes, Steve. Don't often get that, folks. Do not often get that. <laughs>